What's up, Jabroni Seven here. Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into Angel, episode number one of season number one, City of Angels. So I'm guessing uh, we're probably going to Los Angeles. I'm um, guessing that's where we're at because City of Angels and all. Um, is that where Angel went? Is that where he ran away to? I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. I'm very excited to see how Angel grows as a character. I'm very excited to see what the hell the series is about. Um, this lasted four seasons. This lasts all the way until the end of Buffy or... Right? So three seasons? How many seasons does Buffy have? Eight? Seven? I don't know. I think they end around the same time, I'm thinking. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're going to hop in here, have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe over on Patreon. You get full uncut unedited reactions. All that good stuff. Pretty much like, comment, subscribe. I don't think I have anything else to say. I'm just excited to get into it. So pretty much, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Angel fighting three vampires. Well, Angel's just kind of like a badass now. Oh my god. And they were. Yep, Oh, Get away from me. The music feels like he's a superhero. <laughs> what does that look like? Well, I like the place. Not much with the view. Never mind, I heard the it's accident. Nice I thought it was Spike. Cave sort of an air to it. <laughs> but he had an accident. I was about to get super hyped. Kind of looked like Spike from that distance. Doyle. Doyle? You don't smell human. And all of a sudden, he's mad with guilt. You know, what have I done? Uh, you know, he's free. Uh, okay. Now I'm sleepy. Yeah, well, it's I, I like this. Tale. Whether they're doing this. It needs a little sex, is my feeling. So, sure enough, enter the girl. Dude, it's giving us like the perfect Pretty recap for those that didn't watch Buffy. Are you game? So, this one's gonna be a bit more procedural. This guy gives him visions, Angel goes takes care of things. Is that what it's gonna be? That's what it feels like. That's a very different tone than Buffy, which I like. Makes, makes it seem like we're not watching the same show. Tina, I gotta do it by seniority. He needs help somehow. Sure is a cute little doggy. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, I was looking towards there, <laughs> and you walked through, through there. You don't hit on girls very often, do you? That's funny. I get so, off at 10. If he has sex with any girl, would he turn back to Bad Angel? Or is because you know, it's the whole happiness thing. Or is it just sex? Like, could he have sex with anybody? I suddenly feel underdressed. Did you want to go have a drink or something? I know who you are, what you're doing here. I'm really. Hey, look, it's okay. No, it's not. I'm sort of having relationship issues. Who's Russell? Yeah. Tina! Smile for the camera. Who is this hunk of tall, dark, and handsome? <laughs> Just a friend. Um, Marco, I really need to talk to you. Do you even know his name? Have yourself a drink. I'll be right there. Do you even ask for Angel's name? Wayne and Sunnydale anymore. Cordelia? What the fuck is Cordelia doing here? The fuck it. <laughs> oh my god, Angel? <laughs> the fuck is this? Familiar face? Why? You're in LA. Are you living here? Yeah. You? Malibu? Is this just a cameo for those that watch Buffy or <laughs> she has a... or is she actually in the show? I can't tell. She wasn't on the thumbnail though. Here's Angel. Never mind. There we go. Oh my god, I'm telling you, this feels like a superhero show. Damn it. <laughs> oh, this feels this still feels so different than Buffy. I'm actually really into it. Hey buddy, what's up? Woo. I don't know who you are. You don't want to get involved here, trust me. 
Oh, so she has okay. You know, no need to call a buzz if the situation changes. It's a front. My girl scratch. But Cordelia's in the show. I can live out of this bag for days if I have to. I miss the part where you have a safe place to stay while we figure things out. You mean you don't want you have enough people taking advantage right now? <laughs> Boy, are you ever in the wrong town? Wow, she was just gonna she said this is where you comfort me, like for sec like and then You knew who I, I was when you walked in there last night? I could explain. No, I didn't. I, I just I had your name, all right? It's complicated. Yeah, I'm sure. Big complicated game that Russell was playing with my head. But it's daytime. It's daytime. Don't worry. Please listen to me. It's just. Just. Russell. Do them. I've been looking everywhere for you. Right in the head. And here you are, right under my nose. Oh, I own the building. Well, you're young. Oh wait, he's here. Wait. How'd you get in the building? It's daytime. Oh, you failed. You failed her. He feels like Batman. <laughs> Tell me that's not Batman. Like, no, the guy just... <laughs> I tried to take her at the party was called Stacy. I want to find the guy that killed Tina and I want to look him in the eye. Then what? Then I'm going to share my feelings. Long term investment? I don't think so. I just want something to eat. Ooh. will be attracted to my positive energy and help me achieve my goals. Oh yeah. <laughs> she's, so, she's so gullible, man. So ditzy. I'm just the messenger. And I'm the message. I'm the message. <laughs> oh man. Angel's got some cool lines. I like this Angel. Yeah, you guys are right though. Angel is a bit different here than he was in Buffy. The breakup with Buffy did Angel good. Uh, we're looking for a uh, Ross Hey, what are you watching there? Is that the game? Vikings on? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting all weepy in front of you. I probably look really scary. <laughs> I finally get invited to a nice place with no mirrors and Figure it out. lots of curtains. Figure it hey, out. You're a vampire. What? Nice. No, no. R2. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm from Sunnydale. We had our own hell mouth. I think I know a vampire when I am alone with him in his fortress-like home. And you know, I think I'm just feeling a little lightheaded from hunger. You don't know who he is, do you? Oh boy, you're about to get your ass kicked. <laughs> oh shit, he's eating the bullets for the dinner. Yep time. yep, time to go. <laughs> He's like, fuck this. Uh, then he can't leave. What are you doing, bro? You just fucked up Angel's car. Go, Gate. You know, have a little just... bit of an accident. Uh, we'll talk later. <laughs> I can do anything I want. Really?
No evidence of him. Guess not. <laughs> Yes, I was right. It was him that called and didn't talk. That's cool. That's cool. A cockroach. Dude, there's in the I'd say there's the daylight coming in through the windows, man. I don't understand. Okay, first thing, we need to call an exterminator. That is, if you think you can use me. Aww. Wants to feel needed. <laughs> Wow, Angel and Cordelia are in the same like are in a, like they're they're the of leads course, of this, this show. Is just temporary. <laughs> hey, yo, that was like a very good, uh, like a very good episode, man. Like. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking like, like I'm at a nine right now and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why I'm not giving it a 10. That it, it's, oh man, like this. So my one negative is that there was a, there was a bunch of scenes where light was coming in and I don't. I know that they have to light the show, but like, it just it just doesn't make sense because like earlier in the episode when Angel, maybe it has to be direct sunlight. No, it doesn't have to be direct sunlight because he stuck his hand out to grab the girl and it burned her. You see, so the light thing is the light thing is, I don't know. The light thing is something that I feel. I don't think the, I don't think Buffy. Ever has, has even figured it out yet when it came with Angel. Like, I kept putting him in like situations where like, well, there's light coming in there. How come that's not affecting him? Like in season three when he was like in his little cemetery house thing. But other than that, I thought this episode was great. Like I, like I said, I'm leaning towards a 10, either a nine or a 10. I think it's better than just, I mean, just about... I mean, it's better than every opener we've had for Buffy for the season. It sets up the character. It for people that are new, it does a, a phenomenal job of uh, of um kind of first time ever watching. Like, I didn't watch Buffy, but I'm watching Angel. Lets me know who Angel is. Right, talks about his love story. Talks about the fact that he um that who he was about his past and turning into a vampire. It does all that stuff really, really well. Like all of it, every single element of that shit was done pretty much flawlessly, right? Introduce a character, introduce a like a something for like somebody that's like getting signals from above or whatever. He said he gets visions, and then Angel has to go save the day. The girl that we were meant to save, we failed on. The girl got murdered. Cordelia's here. Cordelia brings some comedy. It gave her some heart because you know her life isn't going the way it was. Um, she's kind of. A little bit smarter than she was before. A little bit, a little bit. Um, but yeah, like I think the episode did everything that you wanted it to do. It, it was really freaking good. Like if I were to rank this in the Buffy verse so far, it'd be like a, it'd be one of the best episodes. Like it'd be a top ten for me of all. Of like if I were to put this in and group this in with the Buffy episodes of all the Buffy episodes we've seen, it'd be hard for me not to put this in the top ten. I'd have to really think about it, but I'm pretty sure it, it has to be at least number 10, maybe even more. Like, it's so good. It was so good. We'll go through it. It felt like it felt like a CW show, like before a CW show, like like the superhero show. That's what it felt like to me. But let's break it down real quick. Let's go through it. So we start off angels drunk at a bar or drunk at a bar. We meet some people. Uh, this looks like Sawyer from Lost. Talks like him. It's got to be him. Um, interesting, right? Because Sawyer from Lost, and then in Buffy's first episode, we had uh, Ethan from Lost. Um, so yeah, so turns out Angel's not really drunk. He knows that those guys are vampires, and he's gonna kill them, and he did. Um, but he's still uh, so something new with Angel is 
now when he sees blood, it's like the temptation is there. Um, because of him, you know, being taking the blood of Buffy, it kind of has a it has kind of um it's kind of made him kind of like lust for blood again. So I do want to see the intro and see how the intro spoil or anything. So let's see. So you guys didn't want me to watch this, but let's find out why. That's why Cordelia's in the intro. Okay. Let me pause this. Wait. Ah, no. What if it shows other other things? Mm, let's not. Let's just skip. Fuck okay, it. Let's just skip. Ah, uh, I don't want. I don't want because I don't know what it's gonna show. You guys said you guys just said don't watch it because it'll spoil. And I don't know if it's a, if you guys said it's gonna spoil the whole season or just spoil the episode. But I don't want to get. I don't know who else is in the show. Um, I don't want to get spoiled on that. But I don't. Who else will be in the show? Like I thought he was Spike. So I want to show you guys when I thought it, he was Spike. So. Right there, I thought I for a second that I was like, "Oh my God, is it gonna be a Spike and an Angel Buddy Cop show?" Awesome! It wasn't that, but that's what I thought it was gonna be. So let's see. So Angel, um, let's see. So Angel, this guy walks into Angel's thing. He's kind of like, uh, is it a clairvoyant? People that can see the future. Uh, he knows something bad's gonna happen to this girl. She needs help. He gets sent from above. We get the whole recap of everything that's happened in Angel's life. I thought that was really well done. We then get kind of some walking. Angel's like, why am I not killing you right now? And it's like this whole thing. Really, really well done. Really, really well set up. Um, him introducing him to the show. Cool. He, it gives us a reason or a, a way that we're going to kind of maneuver towards um, giving the episodic, uh, the procedural feel to, to Angel's uh, show. Um, let's see. The guy says, oh, this is a girl that needs your help. I don't know what she needs, but I just got, like, I got a vision. This is the name. This is the place. Angel goes there. He's not good with the, uh, the flirting. He's not good with the conversation. So, you know, he talks to this girl. Then she kind of befriends her. She comes outside with Mace. Like, I know who you are. He's like, what? What's happening? Essentially, he's like, no, I just thought you looked lonely. We then, he says she has to go to a party. She owes some guy named Russell something. We go to the party. It's a nice party. And we get the, are you an actor? So who, I wonder if this is somebody big, like an actual producer. Is this scene, or was it just meant for comedy? But it felt like they, they, they hung on it. So I feel like maybe that guy is something. We get the reveal that Cordelia's in the show. She's uh, gonna be a part of the show now. At this point, I thought maybe it was like a cameo. She was like, she was talking about how like, oh, her success, her thing. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I was like, oh, cool. Cordelia's like famous or whatever. So I thought maybe this was just a cameo for those that watch Buffy. No, she's actually in the show. Some guy was grabbing her when they walk outside. Angel gets taken or gets grabbed. She gets grabbed. It's a whole thing. Angel fights those two guys off. Faces, beats the shit out of these guys. Then we get the little thing, tries to Cordelia, and Cordelia's life is not good right now. She's living in a very shitty apartment, trying to be an actress. It's not working. She is just not having a great life uh, ever since her, you know, she couldn't go to college because her dad lost all that money or owes that money and went to jail or whatever. Um, and then we have this moment here. She talks about, she. this girl kind of thought the angel was expecting sex for saving her or something along those lines, you know, comfort. Angel's like, no, this is just a, a safe place for you to be. Which is cool. Then Angel goes to the library, starts to look up some information, comes back, the girl's screaming, freaking out. Um, about he's here, he's here, she's having so she so she doesn't know he's a vampire, but she was having a nightmare about him. Then she sees the name, Tina Coffee Spot. She knows who it is. He's like, Who gave you that? Why are you here? Um knew who I was okay then Angel gets burned for the sunlight turns into a vampire then this dumbass is here Russell um she why doesn't she shoot him just shot him man 
she falls for his little saying, oh, she's perfectly fine. She's not dead. I just gave her a ride or a, a plane ticket or whatever. And then he kills her because, you know, it sucks. Angel finds her. He's pissed. But I guess so at this point, so right here, right? I guess we're meant to believe because he's here too. But we're meant to we're meant to believe that this is all happening right after Angel comes back, right? Because Angel comes back from the library, so it is still nighttime. No, it's not. The sun came out. I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. See, because like that's that's full blood. I guess full flood sunlight outside. Whatever. Um, Angel says, like, save him. We meet this guy who I feel like I've known from something. I just can't put my finger on it. Um, Angel's, or she's, you know, he's watching the footage of her, of when she died. Angel's going, Angel's pissed off, going after the, he's going to go after the Russell guy because what he did. We find out this guy's got a bunch of lawyers. He's like a top wig in LA. These lawyers will do anything to get him out of anything. Um, Cordelia's meditating and praying essentially for her career to take off for some help, for some food. You get the call because of the Russell guy who's watching a video. He likes her. This show, it has some interesting transitions, which I don't know how I feel about them. They were very in-your-face transitions. Um, we head over to the thing. Cordelia's walking around with this guy. You know, he's like talking about, you know, trying to get to know her. Angel knocks out the security guard. We then... Are talking to Cordelia, and at one point, it feels like Cordelia is kind of accepting what she has to do to get money, which is not good, not good, Cordelia. But you know, luckily she didn't have to do anything. And then she figured out, oh my God, wait, you're a vampire, no mirrors, no curtains. You picked up on some stuff, Cordelia. Good for you. Um, and then Angel comes here. She's like, oh my God, you don't know who he is. <laughs> you're about to get your ass up. It's a fight scene. Um, Angel gets, takes the bullets for Cordelia, gets shot in the back. And this dumbass, I, I don't, this is like a weird, like he's like, ah, he's just an idiot because he doesn't know what to do. He's not a fighter. Um, and she says, he's not going to come after me, right? Which Angel doesn't say anything, but you kind of get the vibe. Oh, no, Angel's. Uh, so here's another one, right? Angel's in this building. Where'd he come from? There's daylight outside. But I love this scene. You know, he's never going to go to jail for anything. He's talking to the guy. He's like, can you fly? Picks him out the thing. Burns him alive. He ain't gonna turn into no fucking anything. There's gonna be no evidence because he's just gonna turn to ash. Very, very cool. This guy gets on the phone saying, Oh, we have a new player in town. Interesting. Um, and then we get upstairs and again, look at that. Hey, look, pure daylight outside. This is what I don't get. And again, I gotta stop saying, I got, I know a lot of you guys are gonna get very angry that I keep bringing that up, but like, I just, you know. I'll bring it up in this episode, and then I'll try not to bring it up again. But there, this is daylight, right? Like, this isn't, like, if you guys, is this, like, this is daylight. And I get it. I know, like, they have to light the show. I understand. But I'm just saying, when he gets burned earlier from daylight, and then he's walking by late light, it's, you know, it's something. Even though the door is blocking in here, but I don't know. But the big review at the end is, hey, man, Cordelia's setting up a, up a business. We're going to help people, and they're going to pay us. We are essentially kind of going to kind of be like uh, the Daredevil, um, Murdoch, Murdoch, and whatever the other guy is, Foggy. <laughs> We're going to help people and get a pay cut. And then Cordelia needs to, and I like that Cordelia's like, you know, that is if you need me. Like, she wants to feel wanted, which is cool. That's very sweet. And it's pretty awesome. And that's the episode. So that's Angel episode one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon if you want full reactions. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to talk to you guys later.